brutally killed over a $65 drug debt. Now three people are charged in the murder of 29-year-old Danielle Banks in Riverdale, found stabbed and burned in the street. Street violence. Danielle Banks, age 29, killed December 9th, 2023 in Riverdale, Illinois, which is outside or near Chicago. One woman, two men charged in this gruesome murder of Danielle because she owed them $65 for drugs. Um, this is, uh, I mean, over $65. God bless the family and friends. Damn. What they've learned from police. Danielle Banks' family told me they're thankful police say they found the three responsible for her murder, calling it a type of closure ahead of the holidays and before they celebrate her life. We want to warn you, some of the details you're about to hear are disturbing. This is not right. So definitely don't do this. Full of life, a big smile. This is how Ray Banks will remember his 29-year-old daughter, Danielle. She was a lively, spiffy, lovely young lady. She loved to sing. She loved to dance. She would bring brightness to your life. But Danielle needed help, and she didn't get it in time. You know, she got caught up on drugs, and uh, when she started to live that life, that's when things got bad. Danielle Banks was killed in Riverdale earlier this month beaten until her eye was falling out of the socket, stabbed to death, then set on fire. Left unidentifiable, according to Cook County court records. Riverdale police released photos of a watch and described a tattoo. Because it was so difficult to identify her, they needed help. Police charged three people with felony first-degree murder in her killing. Scotty Joby Scott, Keith Bassett, and Latoya Laramore Milans. None of my family members really recognize any of them. As of yesterday. Ray says police told him the three revealed why they killed her. It's hard to hear. Said that she owed them $65. And uh, they killed her, stabbed her, and then set her body on fire. The only thing bringing her family peace? Her uh, murderers. We know that they're in custody. So that right there was a real, real privilege to us. I want to say thank you to the Riverdale Police Department. But that's not all he wants to say. Ray Banks has been helping those with addiction for more than 35 years after recovering himself. He told me he tried to get his daughter the help she needed. These three monsters should get the death penalty. Play it. God bless the victim here, and God bless her family and friends. Damn, over $65. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please. Please subscribe.